In this video, I want to show you how to design this premium customized paper bag design for a business like this. This particular design, I am doing it for Gladys Hamel. This is one of the Hamels that have been patronizing me. So I am doing this design for them. Okay, I will show you step by step how I came about this design. This design is done in portrait size. Hi, my name is Afan Nwana. I teach graphic design. And most importantly, I'm focusing on print-ready designs and print-on-demand designs. How to design and print and brand anything that you can think of. So if this is the kind of channel that you are looking for, kindly subscribe to this channel so that you'll be seeing all my content and all my videos that will help you to cash out in your printing journey. Maybe you have been doing so many other designs or maybe you have been doing some landscape paper bag designs. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a portrait size customized paper bag design. This is this kind of uh, size is very rare for you to see somebody design this. But it is one of the premium sizes that premium brands are always looking for. So if this is the kind of video you were looking for, kindly stick around. Let's work together in this video so that I will show you how I achieved all these designs from the dimensions to the template that I am using. And then at the end of the day, I'm going to show you how to get these premium templates. All you have to do is for you to edit the template and use for your design for your client. Okay, without much ado, let's get started. So first of all, let me create a new document. So I'm going to use A3 for this paper bag design. So I'll choose my size, A3 size, and then I'll change my dimension to inches. Please take note of this. And then I'll hit OK. After hitting OK, your blank document is set. So the first thing you are going to do is for you to double click on this rectangle. And then highlight this, drag this down. This side, I'm going to use two inches there. Please take note of this. Other designs I do for landscape, I'm not using two inches there. So please take note for this particular one that I am designing in portrait. This paper bag that I am designing in portrait. Take note of the dimension I'm going to use. So to double click again, we drag this down, this one, I'm going to use 3 inches there. Please take note of what I'm doing, okay? Let me just put a random color here so that you see what I'm trying to do. Just a random color, okay? After I'll remove the colors, okay, then you double click again okay this time around let me put another random color so that you see what i'm trying to do right now finally you double click again you drag it upward this time you are going to use you are going to use one inch there now there's something i want to highlight about this particular one for this particular one, it depends on how you want your paper bag to be tall, okay? If you want it to be very tall, you can use one inch here for this one because this is the place that you are going to fold inside the bag so that it you, you can attach the strings. That is the handle of your bag there, okay? This particular place that you see me, that you see being highlighted here. So this section is a side of the paper bag, this particular one. Let me highlight a color there. This particular one is a side of the bag, okay? 
this particular one is the base of the back okay please take note of that i'm just highlighting these colors so that you know what i'm trying to do and then this blue section is the main body of the back okay so now let's start our design so before then I'm going to remove all the outlines from all the drawings so i will select all of them and i will come here come here to your color palette this x and right click to remove all their colors okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is for me to start bringing in for me to start bringing in my design resources don't worry after you see we'll get to this we'll get to this how i did this okay so just stay with me all right so let me bring in my design resources first of all i'm going to bring in this i'm going to bring in these design resources okay all right this is a premium frame one of the premium frames that i'm always using for my designs so if you are in need of this premium frame for your design kindly um subscribe to my channel and then comment in the comment section frame and then i will send it to you okay all right so what we do here is that i'll remove this color okay i'll remove this color and allow it to be blank okay so I will, I will right click and drag it inside. Okay. Right click, drag it inside, power clip. Okay. All right. The next thing we will do the same thing to this. Right click, drag it inside, and then power clip. As simple as that. Okay. So let's bring in something else. Let's bring in this okay so i'm going to cut it out from there i will open my power clip hope you see, you know how to open this power clip so imagine assuming this power clip is closed now so all you do is highlight and then edit power clip so that you can get access to this okay so then you you paste the photo you brought in okay so this time around i'm going to bring in another powerful resources so that we edit all of them at the same time i'm going to bring in another powerful resources so these powerful resources is what i'm going to use to get the colors i'm going to get the colors from here automatically in fact you see what i'm trying to do here you see what i'm trying to do i'm going to play some magic here but you understand everything i want to do here so now here what you do here is for you to let me use this color first i'll ungroup this what i need from here is just this just this is what i need i want to get the colors from here this gold this premium gold from here okay from here so i will just right click to this place and then copy fill did you notice that okay then i will highlight all of them and press ctrl r on the keyboard do you notice that okay you can do the same thing to this particular this particular object here okay right click and drag it down copy fill okay select all of them and press ctrl r ctrl r stands for repeats okay it stands for repeats all right so i'm going to delete this out because i'm done with that okay so the next thing you are going to do i'm going to bring in this image into this circle all right so i'll just drag and power clip inside i'll click on edit power clip and i'll adjust the image 
to fit okay so let's adjust the image this is very simple okay it is very simple if you follow what i'm doing it is very simple so and then when you are done with this you can close the power clip all right so here now here now you can bring in okay before then let's copy this because we are still going to use that field we are still going to use this field for this so i'll bring this down here i'll right click and copy this field okay so let's do something here let me copy this field down here all right you notice that i'll do the same thing to this place and i will do the same thing to this place okay i think that is very clear all right so this is a premium design so you don't expect it to be as simple as other designs you have been seeing but if you can do this kind of design for your customer for your client they will love you okay they will love you so just pay attention so that you grab everything i'm telling you okay it is a premium design so it is it takes you something extra to understand how the design goes so just pay attention all right so the next thing we are going to do here is for me to bring in to write the name let me just write the name of this brand first let me write the name of this brand first so i'm going to zoom this place i'm going to zoom this place for this particular thing this particular object i'm going to turn it upside down so just come here mirror vertically okay let's use it like this okay so i'm going to use gladys gladys this is the name of the brand gladys hemo so i'm going to control or shift f3 on the keyboard shift f3 on the keyboard so that you can change the case of the letters to capital letters so here i'm going to use um, let me try georgia that is the name of the font georgia so highlight the two objects press letter c on the keyboard so that it will centralize to centralize both of them and then when you are done you can press letters you can highlight the three of them and press letter c first of all group this Control G and then select all of them. Press letter G, letter C on the keyboard so that it will centralize both of them. Okay. So now our paper bag is becoming beautiful. So it is as simple as what you have seen. But if you don't pay attention, it is not simple because this is not the kind of um, paper bag design that you should just joke with it is a premium design so the next thing you are going to do here is for you to bring in your social icons your contact icons so okay if you have any question pertaining to this design kindly drop it in the comment section if there is any resources you need that you don't have okay you are in need of any resources you are in need of any background drop your comments Re make a request in the comment section and i will send those design resources to you i have a lot of backgrounds i have a lot of images i have a lot of fonts that i can share with you so if you need fonts if you need backgrounds if you need images tell me in the comment section fonts or background or images or if you need other templates okay i have a lot of them in my computer just drop it drop your comment drop your request in the comment section i'm going to send those those um, resources to you for free or for free i'm going to work with instagram and and whatsapp okay let me work with instagram and whatsapp all right so i'll bring instagram down here and i'll bring whatsapp down here 
if you notice before i bring this whatsapp down here if you notice this there is a background here so i don't want that background okay there's a background on this whatsapp icon so i don't want it so what you simply do go to trace bitmap let me show you a magic now outline okay detailed logo okay just wait for it and then press ok all right so when you press ok separate it from here bring it out then ungroup it okay so now you can separate this and it will stand alone here you see the background is here on its own so that is the trick i think you have learned something <laughs> You've learned something, all right? You learned something. So let's position this here. Let's position this here. All right. So let's write our contact details there. Plus two, three, four, seven, zero, six. Double seven five zero seven four nine. Okay. All right. So I'm using my contact detail here. Okay. Let me use my contact detail there. Okay. This is my phone number. Okay. Um, and then let me just duplicate this text and write the at at Gladys Gladys underscore hey more all right so I think we are we are getting some results here okay so you place it here all right so you can adjust these icons if they are too big you can adjust these icons if they are too big and then adjust this okay but ensure all of them are centralized okay and our design is ready now if you have any question that you want to ask me a place that you don't understand probably for this particular design that we are doing here or any other design project that you wanted to do and you don't know how to go about it kindly drop it in the comment section below i'm going to attend to all questions one by one I have a lot of questions that have been coming in through my through my comment section and one thing about me is that i don't skip any of those questions that my viewers ask me so if you have any problem any challenge so you can drop it in the comment section i will help you out now finally let me tell you something if you do a beautiful design like this and you don't know how to print how to finish your design your design is going to be in vain. So that is why I have done a special video for you so that you can see how to print your paperback. That is the kind of video you shouldn't miss because you don't want to spoil your work for your client, for your customers, okay? So I will leave the video in the description below. So after watching this video, you can check out the, that video. If you have watched this video to this position that means this video is of interest to you so do me a favor like the video subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notification so that you don't miss any upload okay check out this video if you want to see how to print your paper bag how to do the right finishing this video will show you everything let's meet in this video